Greetings, beloved children of God. Welcome to Storytime with Pastor Maureen. I am Pastor Maureen Howard of Emmanuel Lutheran Church, and I greet you with great joy as we come together to read the wonderful stories of the Bible. Well, we're reading from the Spark Story Bible, which is published by Augsburg Fortress, and the story we're on today is called Baby Moses. So let's read the story and find out who this baby Moses is. You ready? Let's begin. Pharaoh, the king of Egypt, was afraid. He was rich and powerful and scared. What could he be scared of? Well, strangely enough, Pharaoh was scared of God's people, the Hebrews. He thought there were too many of them, and he was afraid that they would try to become more powerful than he was. To make sure the Hebrews had no power, Pharaoh made them his slaves and ordered them to work very hard. Even worse, he demanded that all of the Hebrew baby boys should be drowned in the Nile River. Because of this, God's people were terribly afraid too. Everyone in Egypt was afraid. And so here's the picture of Pharaoh, who again is like a king. And here are the Hebrew people, God's chosen people. And you can see how they're having babies and they're growing and Pharaoh, look at his afraid face. He's afraid that they will become too powerful. And so he makes them slaves. And here's powerful Pharaoh right here. And you can see the Hebrew people are slaves now. And here's a man with a whip driving them. And they don't look very happy. Can you find squiggles? Yeah, there's squiggles right there. Now, this is a new pharaoh, a new pharaoh that wasn't around, that loved, Benj that loved Joseph and his family. These are many pharaohs away, and he forgot all about what the Hebrews had done for him by saving his people. And so now, this new pharaoh is afraid of all the Hebrews. During this fearful time, a baby born was born to a Hebrew mother. She loved her baby boy, and of course, she wanted him to live. The baby's mother kept him safe by making a floating basket for him. She put her baby in the basket and then hid it in the water and plant at the edge of the Nile River. The baby's big sister, Miriam, hid near the shore and watched over the basket. What happens next? was amazing. Pharaoh's daughter came down to the river to take a bath. She saw the basket among the water and plants and asked her servant to go get it. When she opened the basket, she was surprised to see a baby boy crying. And so here's Miriam. And she's just sent baby Moses, her little brother, down the Nile River. And here is baby Moses right here. And he's crying. Let's see, can we find, can we find Squiggles? Where is Squiggles on this page? Oh, there he is. Oh, I guess this isn't probably, this is probably his mother. Yeah, there's, that's his mother, and she's crying because she can't raise him. And then there's Squiggles. And then here is Miriam, his sister, watching in the reeds as Pharaoh's daughter wants him, wondering what that basket is. Hmm, this must be one of the Hebrews' children, said Pharaoh's daughter. He's awfully cute. Wouldn't it be fun to keep him? Aha, thought Miriam. I can help her. Miriam bravely stepped out of her hiding place. 
I could probably find someone to help take care of the baby for you until he's a little older, she said. That would be perfect, said Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam was excited to tell her mother the news. The baby's mother took good care of him. When he was old enough, he went to live with Pharaoh's daughter. Miriam and her mother prayed he would be safe with her. I think I will name him Moses, said Pharaoh's daughter, because I took him out of the water. Moses lived in Pharaoh's palace until he grew up to be a man. During this time, life became worse and worse for the Hebrews. Eventually, however, Moses helped free God's people so that they could leave Egypt. Now there was something besides fear for God's people. There was hope. So here's the, the story right here. And this is Miriam saying, hey, I know of a woman who can take care of him and nurse him and, until he gets older. And that's who baby Moses goes to live with. He goes back to his own mommy and his family. And he's raised until he's a little bit older. And then he's given into Pharaoh's house. And so here's uh, Moses growing up, and here's Pharaoh, and they're growing, he's growing up in Pharaoh's house. Can you find squiggles on the page? Can you find him? He's kind of hiding. He might have a little bit hard time. You see him? He's right by the feet of Miriam, right here. That's right. And we, too, live in a time where many people are afraid. They're afraid of catching this virus or passing a virus on to a family member. And even some people are afraid of dying from it. But we know that God is in control. And God will save us from this virus. And so we, too, don't have to be afraid and fear and hide we can have hope, just like the Hebrews did. Have hope that God will prevail. And so, beautiful children of God, we know that Jesus loves us deeply. So let's, on the count of three, say, Jesus loves me. Are you ready? One, two, three. Jesus loves me. But Jesus loves the whole wide world. So let's say Jesus loves our neighbors too. You ready on the count of three? One, two, three. Jesus loves our neighbors too. And so Carol and Alice and Miriam and Moses, God says to you, I love you. And Hank and Fredonia and Harold, and Mary, and Jake, and Katie, God says to you, I love you. So children of God, you have a grateful day today because God chooses you. Yes, God chooses you to love. So I won't see you tomorrow or Tuesday because I have a conference to go to. But we'll be back with story time with Pastor Maureen at 10 a.m. on Wednesday morning. So uh, watch the other videos on Facebook or on our YouTube channel, Luth Wash, and get filled in with how much God loves you. So I'll see you on Wednesday at 10 a.m. for another story time with Pastor Maureen. Have a grateful day, everybody. You are loved by God. Bye-bye.